Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Dan and welcome back to another Mobile Suit demonstration. Thank you to Fazli Sulaimi for requesting this demonstration. Today I'm going to be covering the Powered GM Cardigan from Gundam Build Fighters Tri. Alright, let's get into it. The GM Cardigan has no unique abilities attached to its parts, so that makes my job easier. The GM Cardigan doesn't come with a melee weapon so I just gave it a standard beam saber. The GM Cardigan is available in HG scale in the shop once you've gathered enough HG parts. Unfortunately there is no MG scale version of it in the shop. Sadly there isn't any way to derive merge to get these parts, sorry guys. However the GM Cardigan has another backpack which you can derive from the normal Cardigan backpack and sacrificing Wing Gundam version KA, Death Scythe Hell or Heavy Arms Backpack. The GM Cardigan doesn't appear in its entirety in any stage. You'll only find bits and pieces of it from random enemy player encounters during story mode. You could also jump into Bounty Hunter mode and hope someone is using some or all of its parts. Or you could download the first free DLC and find them as standard enemies in Mission 3. If you're playing the English Singapore version, you'll need to make a Singapore account to access this DLC. Or if you're playing the Japanese version, you'll need a Japanese account. Once downloaded, you'll be able to access the DLC stages even on your normal account, assuming you've set your PS4 as your Singapore account's primary console. If you're playing the PS Vita version of the game, then you're shit out of luck I'm afraid. Now, let's see the powered GM Cardigan in action. Let's start with its ranged weapon, the beam machine gun. Nothing particularly amazing, hold R2 to rapid fire. The head comes with head vulcans, great when used in conjunction with close melee combat. The cardigan has double sabers affixed to its arms, these do the standard double saber combo. Next we have the gatling guns, these are hidden inside the sleeves of the arms, good for medium to long range. And then we have the large rifles on its back, these fire fast and accurate shots that can cause stagger and stun enemies. The backpack comes with two shields attached to sub-arms. You can toggle these on and off and they'll move independently to the rest of the suit to reduce damage received in all directions. Pretty useful. Now we have the Cardigan's alternate backpack, which comes with Gatling guns. These replace her large rifles. Pretty accurate and attack fast. And that pretty much covers everything on the powered GM Cardigan. Thanks for watching guys, if you found this video useful or informative, please drop it a like and subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos. Want to see more suits demonstrated? Check out my demonstration request video and leave a comment on who you'd like to see next. Click the annotation or the link in the description to make a request. See you next time guys and please enjoy the rest of the video.